Some thoughts on Andy Six's hot logs of shit, by Fig and Gape. Setting the scene, you're sitting in front of your display, browsing 4chan's random board B. Suddenly you spot a ghostly figure with piercing blue eyes and emo makeup on its face. Just smirking at you. Ops message to all of B, would you? You open the thread only to discover a storm of derailed and obscene imagery portraying emo teenagers acting out extremely coprophilic scenes accompanied by seemingly endless strings of copypasta and raging hate posts. You may think, that's nice and all but what the hell is this supposed to be? Well today I'll teach you all about the logs and the throats. The brown substance, or, what defines a lipost? There are two main components to a lipost. Andy Six Plus shit. Typically it revolves around you wanting to consume his shit because he and his poop are just so damn hot. Keywords to describe his godly stool are that is steamy, creamy and dreamy. A la post can take many forms. Be it either a meme picture, a copypasta, a video or a song. There are no bounds to this basic meme format. There are deviations where one of the two key components is merely implied but not shown. A classic is posting an image of Andy Six with the catch as well. Implying that the user already knows that the topic is Andy Six's hot logs of shit. Even memes with only shit and no mentioning of Andy can be considered la post material. If you use the classic log picture in your meme. Then people with prior experience will know that this is supposed to be Andy's turd. As an extension to classic la post there are also the spin-off memes. These feature characters from the extended log universe. That is Dunny Filth, Steven Tyler, Mehmet Hussein and many more. Some of these characters have special excretions of their own and are in conflict with each other. What makes this meme hilarious and why are people so enraged? Despite popular belief I doubt it's only the feces and spam that trigger normies. Not even Gore or Lolly have the butthurt potential of Andy's tasty fecal treats. You see, certain dark aesthetics, like emo, strife on an isolated setting in which disgusting things like bodily excretions do not exist. The combination of two worlds that seem to contradict each other messes with the mind of regular consumers. Those people are used to Disney movies and other media that paints the world in only the most beautiful shades. To think that cute twinks are capable of birthing delicious turds is worse than imagining a fat blue-collar worker having a putrid diarrhea attack on a portage on. Enjoyers of the meme have to be at least somewhat emotionally distanced from the displayed scenario. To add to this statement we add another variable to the formula, maturity. Yes, on a superficial level it's quite childish to tell our glass shields to grow up even though it is the laposters who laugh about poop jokes and harass their fellow users with unwanted content. Though what they like to understand is that they are not forced to open log threads. They are the ones who choose to be offended and decide to feed the trolls. All the prior arguments aside, there is still another factor. Andy's shit-eating grin is unintentionally a spiritual successor of the naked banana meme. There is a countless amount of instances where Andy and his logs are hidden in dark corners of popular memes so that they get shared and posted like an ever-growing internet tumor. What is certain though is that the meme has its roots in mocking obsessive fan behavior. Andy 6 is so hot, I would eat a log of shit straight from his asshole. Original intention or mystery of the Ogla poster. The prior section was just my personal opinion about the meme's fun factor. However, now is the time to talk about the original intention of its creation. Examining Andy Beersack rules out that he has had any coprophilic contact to his fans. So what was the Ogla poster's drive? Well, before the meme emerged on 4chan's B, board in the year of 2015 there were pretty suggestive comments under YouTube videos of Black Veil Brides and other edgy bands of that time. We received screenshots of comments dating back to 2012 that describe ever more explicit and obscene growing sex acts with Andy Beersack, Skrillex and other musicians. Logs of shit were mentioned. We may reveal more background information in the future. Log in and log on, sliders.